Hello, it's Nikki. Let's play the game of how much stuff can we actually do while we have a child that sleeps. Um, she's not at nursery today, so yeah, I'm definitely in that juggle. I hope you're doing all right. Welcome to part three of this theme around moving the needle in your business and your brand this week. And today I'm talking about moving the needle in a way that you know can really create an impact for the people who are supposed to hear it, for the people who have been waiting for this moment. And I want to flip the idea of ideal clients, I guess, on its head. Because I know when I was first starting 10 years ago um, as a coach, there was this huge pressure to niche. And you had to almost come up with the bullet points, the um, moments of like, I talk to Sandra, who is between 36 and 46, and she lives in the Midlands. And I always used to find that so restrictive because I could work with Sandra, but also there's loads of other people that I wanted to work with as well. And I certainly didn't want to build, um, and this is sometimes to my detriment, I didn't want to build myself such a boring, predictable business. Now, I know that I love, um, uh, I love it when I see other people um, create these businesses that are so, um, I guess, functioning. You know, I only work with accountants who are three years since they've graduated and they can just do that day in, day out and just work for, with those people. And as I've gone through this, I've really realised actually my ideal clients look and feel quite different. Although the solution that they're looking for, I guess, or the things that are perhaps um, they hold dear to them are quite similar. So when I'm talking about really helping your client, your ideal client and moving the needle, it's not about using those generic terms of people who are into art or people who um, want more flexibility or people who are women in business. There's always an invitation to really consider what the given circumstances are of that person. Now, I um, shared this in a video a couple of weeks ago, I think, about the given circumstances as an actor. So um, there is a practitioner called Stanislavski who lots of actors study. But basically, he has this phrase called the given circumstances. So before you go on and do a scene, you have to know what the given circumstances of your um, character, or let's just say you as the business owner, you have to understand what the given circumstances are. So if I was being an actor and I had to go into a scene and I had just, um, uh, to go to the extreme, if I just killed somebody, haven't obviously, as this character, if I just killed somebody, that has a effect in terms of the given circumstances of what happens in the next scene. So thinking, <laughs> I'm going to move off the topic of killing people, promise, promise. But based on what you know of your ideal client and your customer, we have to know what's actually going on. So another example today, I had to do a self-tape and I'm doing lots of these at the moment. That's the way a lot of things are casting. And I said to my agent, and usually I am one of these people who gets the email, I like to get it done, I like to get it in and all completed. But because my kids have been ill this week and people have been off and oh, all this kind of stuff with sickness, I felt like I was moving towards um, the latter part of the deadline. And I said this to my agent, like, I don't really like doing things in this way because I've got this kind of standard of how I want to do it. And he was also understanding, yeah, I know, but this is one piece of your life. You're juggling kids, you're juggling work and other bits and bobs as well. And so that was a really lovely, engaging conversation because he understood who I was. And again, it was another moment of like, yes, we should work together. And he was like, I've got kids. Sometimes it takes a little while for me to get back to your email. And there was that really lovely mutual understanding. So where I'm going with this in terms of moving the needle in your business, 
where can you go broader, wider, deeper, and really understand what is going on for your client and really understand what is going to make them move from a place of browsing and like, oh, this is interesting, or I'm, oh, oh, gosh, oh, da, 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 to I'm ready, let's go. And this has been an interesting conversation that I've, I guess I've noticed for the last 10 years. I mean, if I just focus on my coaching work, I can tell usually, it's not, it's not a hundred percent, but usually whether somebody is like ready to go. Here we go. Oh, here's my daughter. One minute, one minute, one minute. Are you coming in, Bubba? Mama's just going to finish her video. Come here. That's it. There we are. You've just woken up, haven't you? Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, it's understanding where people are and what that's going to look like um, going forward and really having an idea of their given circumstances, what's happening. The reason um, also I wanted to share is I'm doing one final jam and plan, um, my all day event uh, next Thursday, the 30th. Now, I also wanted to give this as an example as to why I do this in this way. So over the years, are you climbing? Um, you want the dolly? Okay. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll get it in just one second, pop it. Um, and so over the years, I have invested in so many different things, you know, month programs, three months, six months, 12 months, uh, one day, uh, working one-to-one, memberships, small digital products. And I know there is a, a real need, a real sense that people want to get ideas flowing now. They want clarity and they want it quickly. So a 12-month program might not be right for my ideal client. This is why I do this day. It's a one-day event. And so by the end of, yeah, oh, okay, I'm going to go. But basically, check out the video. Check out, I know, yeah. Check out, it's yours. Yeah, you're going to have it. Okay. Um, check out the video, check out the link. (laughs) Thanks for joining me. Thanks for bearing with me. Told you it was a juggle today. Uh, anyway, looking at my watch, don't need to do that because I've got it on my phone right there. I'm going to say bye, lots of love and, um, yeah, go deeper, broader, wider, really see what's going on. And, uh, I'll catch you again tomorrow for part four. All right. Lots of love. Bye.